here we are again, guys, for the third day within a week of fishing. We are back aboard the Reaper over here. And I am shocked right now because I actually beat Chris to the spot. As you can see in the parking lot, I am the only car here. I actually made it to the spot. Chris is 10 minutes late, so definitely keeping a tab over here. Today, we're going back out to hog fishing. The bite was so good yesterday and has been so good this week. We can't pass up this golden opportunity. The conditions are gonna be very similar to yesterday. We've got a strong north wind this time instead of a south wind at probably 10 to 15 miles an hour. So it's gonna be a little choppy out there, especially with that north wind, it kind of kicks things up, but hopefully the fish bite guys, that's the plan. We got a gorgeous sunrise out here, as you can see right over the houses. And yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get myself all set up, get rigged and ready, and I'll see you guys on the boat. Get ready for hopefully another epic day of tog fishing. Hopefully they're still chewing. Probably gonna hit up the same piece of structure we hit up yesterday. And yeah, stay tuned guys. I'm stoked to get out there. See what happens. A few moments later. my intention setting up the camera to get the crabs but it's gonna be a gonna be a cold one today now nice Chris had some drier clothes for me, so put on a pair of skinny jeans and some nice long johns. So let's go fishing. still on there yeah a little guy first fish of the day though for me oh my god dude whoa big pork whoa yeah, that's man. sick oh my god that's awesome that's my obviously my biggest porgy ever oh that's sick check that out guys my first or my first ever keeper porgy it's like my third ever Porgy. The other two are about four inches that I caught off the jetty a couple years ago, but did not expect to catch that today. Really cool colors on. Reminds me of like a big grunt they catch down there in Florida. Check that out. We're going to put this guy in the box. I've never had Porgy before, so look forward to eating him up. First catch so far, we got a keeper Porgy, and Chris called probably an eight pound female tog, so. There we go. Oh, yeah, Dylan. Yeah, boy. 
boy. Might have snagged this guy, I don't know. Feels a little weird coming up. That's why it's a freaking shock. Little spiny doggy. Not the target species. Come on, come back. Porgy, dogfish, tog. Catch it all. There we go. Stroke them. Oh yeah. That's probably a keeper too. Oh, a little drag? On the 25 hundo. Oh, that's like a good fish. Nice female. Oh. On the light tackle. Let's go, baby. Good job, dude. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a beautiful female tog right there. Probably a solid 18 incher. On the light tackle jig, so much fun. She bit right away, so we'll, we'll release her. Not keeping too many fish today, especially these nice females, so we'll send her back. Oh, no. See you, lady. Awesome, bite's good. We just repositioned, actually. Got more on top of the high piece. I'm using the whole crab, but I'm cutting like a, a third of it off on the corner. Oh yeah, 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 oh that's a fish! That's a 10 all day, bud. That's a 10 all day. Oh my god. That one you might want to get away. That's, that's a monster. Oh, that's a nice fish. Okay, can't even get him in the boat. Little female. His is probably twice or three times the size of mine. That's a bulldog. Here we go guys, my second keeper of the day. Nice keeper sized male. Eric just landed a monster fish. That's probably a 10 pounder right there. There she goes, right back down. 10, here. Awesome. So that's the first 10 pounder I've ever seen in person. Hopefully guys got a good shot of that. Bite's good though, on the jig, these fish are so much fun to catch on light tackle. That little wiggle was funny though. Oh my God, yeah. All right guys, and I did mean to go over the setup right here that I'm using. Like I said, when I mean light tackle, I mean light tackle. This is a 2,500 Daiwa BG, split up with 20 pound braid. I've got a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader and then I'm fishing this on a Tsunami slow pitch rod. It's a 6.6, actually seven foot, my bad. This is my jetty tog rod. It's used to catching fish maybe up to 18 inches, 17 inches. But these, these tog out here are a different thing altogether. So definitely test the limits of this rod. It's so much fun to catch a big fish peel and drag on the small little reel. And we're using two ounce tog jigs. Chris had a bunch of these on the boat. Again, shout out Jaws Custom Baits for the free jigs. Unfortunately, I, I lost all the ounce and a half and plus one. So need some heavier tackle today. So upgraded a two ounce jig and they're chopping, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas time. There we go. Got him. Oh. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. There we go guys, my fourth keeper. Ah, pretty little female, normally I'd release her, but Eric's got a nice nice male right there too. Sweet, double headers. <laughs> like I said, normally I'd release this one, but she kind of crapped out all her guts over there and bleeding through the gills, so not gonna release a fish that's gonna die, so I might as well keep it, bring it towards my, uh, my limit for the day. There we go. Got him. There, there it is. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh. Oh, oh Chris, that's a good fish. Yeah, oh, I'm doubled up. Oh, double, baby. Tripled. Tripled up. Oh, I lost. No, I got him. I got him, baby. <laughs> I call the tiniest fish on the wreck. Look at this. Tripled up, guys. Yeah. Don't even look at my fish. Chris got a nice one on the jig. Oh yeah. Nice one. Woo yeah, baby. All right, a little short. See ya. Tripled up. Two big male keepers over there. I caught a seven incher. I had to get the small fish out of the way, you know. The action continues. Third day within a week of just really unreal talk fishing. I got him. What? 
Another targy on the jiggy. There we go. Oh yeah, Dylan. Man, what a little wiggle we made. Right, oh yeah. Oh, oh. That's a good fish. Good fish. Oh yeah, Dylan's got a bulldog. Oh, that's a proper talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh yeah, Dylan. Nope. Flip or die. Oh. Yeah. What a little wiggle, guys. Oh man. There we go, guys. Check that out. Probably what five pounder, definitely. Five pound on the 2500 super light rod. Chris just landed a five. So I knew next was my turn. Beautiful tog. That was really All right, crazy. gorgeous male. We'll send him back. Yep. See you, muchacho. Right, Dude. right back down the wreck, guys. There's a ton of fish here. We made a little wiggle. Me and Eric just kind of redropped the anchor. Chris put us right back on top of the meat and slaying it yet again. Yeah, Let's dude. get it. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got him. Oh no. Oh god. Almost went in. Again? Little female, 12 incher. Couple shorts mixed in with the megas. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh man, Dylan's got another good one. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, Dylan. Oh. Oh yeah. Look at those digs. Oh, you're swimming straight up. Oh. Another monster. Another nice fish. Here he comes. Another beautiful male tog. That's probably 18 inches. Big broomstick tail. Again, I can't stress how much fun it is on that light, light setup we got. So we'll send him back. I kept two fish. I may keep one more, but I don't think there's a shortage of fish down there right now. See you, bud. Can't believe I caught a porgy. That's so sick. Yeah. Sure. It's my first catch too. I was so shocked. I was like, what the hell is that? Had an eventful day. Yeah. Oh my God. Gone? Oh, I did not just lose that rod. Yeah, you did. Oh, I caught so many fish on that too. Fall in the water. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I snag it? Hold on, get the net, get the net. I got the net. Get the net. We're all still hanging on. Oh no, I have you. No, no, you have my line too. Do I? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stay there right it is, there it is. Stay right there. Ready? Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an eventful yeah, day. It's a, right as you said, it's been an eventful day. Get your rod back. Save that, thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know how I dropped it. You got it back, man. Oh, my God. That's cool. That's awesome. It's been an eventful day. Thank you. Yeah. Might have to give it a little rinse when I get home, you know? All right. It's been an eventful day. I fell in the water and then this happened. A lot has happened since I fell in the water. Yeah. I'm just gonna start jumping in the water before we go fishing. Oh, reel's locking up a little bit, but we'll keep it flowing. It'll be good. Oh my God, what a cast, Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan's got a good one. My reel's not working. My reel's not working. My reel's broken. Oh my god, guys, Dylan has a monster. Hey, that red boy, keep my, my reel's breaking. <laughs> oh, oh no. My god, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. That reel sounds great, right? Yeah, I saw him. Oh, it's a good tog on a broken rod. Swimming up with it. 
That's a mega fish on this light rod. I can't move him. Okay. He's stuck. stuck. We'll back Snagged a big one. Oh god, you. Uh, oh my god. Dude. Dude, what just happened? That one's really big. I don't even. Uh, what? That's a big fish. Check that fish out, guys. Brought my rod in the water. Thought it was gone. Chris and Eric. Snagged it for me and dropped down first drop. Probably a 20 inch male. Oh my god, dude. What an eventful day. Yeah. Gotta switch up reels. Ultralight 2500 was fun, but now that it's not really working well, I probably have to go to the 3500. Yep, 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 yep. Beautiful female. All right, probably my 10th or so keeper. Round up, round down, I don't know. Nice little female. Send her back. So guys, just as we think the day is good enough, find some of these guys on the way back here. Yeah. Right outside the inlet. Coming in from a stellar day of fishing. Right, let's go jig up some stripers. Choice of the day, AVA jig, three ounce. All right, team, just to end out the day, Dylan's on the striper. Right outside the end, you can see the birds made up real good there. You doing anything special with the jig there? <laughs> yeah, right? Like that! Well, I kind of like that. Like this, just like this. I follow him. You know what it is? Got him. Let's go, guys. There we go, baby. That's a 31 inch straight bass. Nah, it's 28. Just pooped all my hands. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Chris, cheers. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Why don't right. get light? Why don't get light? I love it up here, guys. That's a beautiful keeper. That's a keeper. I'm setting my Send her back. Not a graceful release, but it's gone. Let's get it here. All right, let's get another one. Dude, I, I don't even have any words. Like, nothing. Best that. hog day ever. And now we got just endless striper. He's got a nice one. I tried to flip my big bass in, lost him. He was like a 36 though. All 
All right, guys, and that is where we're gonna sign off for today. Absolutely just unreal day of fishing out here aboard the Reaper. That marks three days within a week, two days directly in a row of A, lights out tog fishing. And today we mixed in a little just absolutely drop and reel striped bass fishing on the diamond jigs. On our way back to the inlet, saw a bunch of birds working, dropped down, GoPro was dead. We had no intention of striper fishing, but when they're there, they're there. So I actually caught probably a 37 incher that I couldn't make it into the boat. He was hooked in such a weird way. The hook wasn't even in his mouth. He just kind of gripped the, the diamond jig. So I pulled it right out of his mouth and sent him back on his way. Yeah, landed probably a half a dozen to a dozen stripers in the last 20 minutes of the day. Again, I just got to reiterate, absolutely epic day of fishing. Multiple big five pound to even 10 pound plus like Eric caught Tog. I landed my PB at seven pounds, just absolutely legendary day. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, which hopefully you did, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for tuning in guys. And I also want to do, do want to do a quick shout out. Thank you to mom and dad for the new Grundens. They uh, saved my pants, even though I fell in. I mean, really, it was just an eventful day. So many things going through my mind. Crazy, crazy day out there in the water. So, tight lines 2022, guys. Peace.